And just look at the elongated uh, pattern here with this storm. It is very large as far as its coverage area. So that means it is going to be bringing widespread impacts. It's not going to be a very isolated area that gets the major impacts. We're going to be getting impacts all along the Atlantic coast, anywhere from North Carolina down through the southern shores of Florida. Now, this is the latest cone of uncertainty. And again, there are some question marks on exactly what this storm can do. You can just see the track that forecast. It goes up, it goes down, it goes back up. So that tells us that there's going to be some changes in the weather pattern that are going to affect where this starts to move and where it starts to head. Now, the confidence is there into the northern Bahamas for some big impacts. We're talking storm surge, coastal erosion, intense rainfall and tropical storm force winds. But then it starts to move over towards the state of Florida, and that's where it gets interesting. Some forecast models want to push into South Florida, say Fort Lauderdale. We saw that camera a moment ago down into Miami. Others want to push it even more up the coast, maybe even up towards places like Jacksonville Beach. So again, a wide range as far as where there could be some potential landfall with this storm. But as of right now into the northern Bahamas, we've got some tropical storm watches that are newly issued with this storm and then also the coast of South Carolina and Georgia have issued some tropical storm watches, meaning tropical storm conditions could be possible within the next 48 hours. Now this is going to be a large storm and we talk about that. It's the coverage area, the pure size of where those tropical storm force winds extend out to. So it's going to have some coverage to it. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of impacts throughout the entire southeastern United States. It's not just going to be Florida that gets those impacts. Even though Florida is going to have a lot of the bigger impacts, especially when it comes to the heavy rain. This is one forecast model showing that into southeast Florida, potential pushing out into the Gulf of Mexico, and then maybe heading right back into the Big Bend of Florida. Again, this is just one model, but it's something that we're keeping an eye on, and it's been hinting at that heavy rain through the northern Bahamas and across southeastern Florida. This is our in-house forecast model here at Weather Nation. This is what you're going to see when we talk about uh, all those details, because when we look at our in-house forecast model, it shows it going right into South Florida and then up into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and heading up towards the Big Bend of Florida. So again, the models, they are in agreement of at least a movement towards Florida. The question is where in Florida could this system be making landfall? Big time rain. We're seeing some of these colors on the map. That's where we're getting above seven inches into the northern part there of the Bahamas. Also along that eastern coast of Florida, solid three plus inches is going to be very likely. So because of that rain that is on the way, getting ahead of this, we'll jump to Tuesday. There's already confidence for excessive rain into southeastern Florida. And then look what happens Wednesday. That confidence gets even higher. Slight risk of excessive rain for those areas of eastern and southeastern Florida.